Before we continue our SQL syntax playlist, I want to quickly demonstrate how to connect to a MySQL database and query it for a result set using the PDO extension in PHP. And after the coding exercise, we're going to have a MySQL I versus PDO discussion that you might find informative. Okay, the first thing we'll do is create a variable to represent the database handler. Make that equal to new PDO object instance. So we supply the host name for the database driver that we want. In this case, it's MySQL database. And for most of you, the host will be localhost. So database host goes here. And you put the database name here. In the second parameter, you put the database username. And then the third parameter, you put your database password. In the next line, we'll establish the SQL syntax. Now we're going to run a for each loop that queries the database using this SQL syntax and returns a result set within the loop. And finally, we close the database connection. To close the database connection, you just specify the database handler variable as null. Make it equal to null. Now, a for each loop is made to be able to access all of the items in an array. So this represents an array and each item as row. So you can see here, we're referencing the database handler. And in an object-oriented approach, we're running its query function. And query is one of the functions that are open to the PDO base class. And you can see that it's not much more or less complex than using MySQLi. Now, if your connection to the database happens to fail, the PHP manual recommends that we use try and catch. And this is what that looks like. So you try the database connection, and you can catch PDO exception. Then we run the get message function to render out the problem. Now let's run this on our PHP enabled server. And this is the results I get from running that script. And this is exactly what my people table looks like. Now let's have a quick little PDO versus MySQLi discussion. Okay, I'm going to lead you guys to this page, but I'm just going to touch on some interesting paragraphs that you can read in the page. Under what is an extension, it says an extension typically exposes an API to the programmer to allow its facilities to be used programmatically. However, some extensions which use the PHP extension framework do not expose an API to the programmer. The PDO MySQL driver extension, for example, does not expose an API to the PHP programmer, but it provides an interface to the PDO layer above it. Now let's scroll down a little bit more. And here it says the MySQLi extension, sometimes known as the MySQL improved extension, was developed to take advantage of new features found in MySQL systems version 4.1.3 and newer. The MySQLi extension has a number of benefits, object-oriented interface, support for prepared statements, support for multiple statements, support for transactions, enhanced debugging capabilities, and embedded server support. Now if we scroll down a little bit more, it discusses what PDO is, and it, this paragraph here is very interesting. It says, while PDO has its advantages, such as clean, simple, portable API, its main disadvantage is that it doesn't allow you to use all of the advanced features that are available in the latest versions of MySQL Server. That's a very interesting paragraph. And so that should tell you right there that it limits what you can do. But PDO does have its advantages, which are it's a clean, simple to use, portable API that you can have in place within your programs and just change out the MySQLi driver for another type of database driver or things like that. But it doesn't in any way make you more capable. It actually limits what you can do, okay?